Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It feels like forever since I've sat down to film a video. I took a much needed break away from YouTube and creating content and I honestly love it so much that I was like itching to make a video and I plan on posting Saturday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So let me know if you like that or not. Before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed and follow me on Instagram because it would mean the absolute world to me. Also too, by the way, I wanted to mention and throw in this video that I have a website. So if you would check it out, that would be so amazing and awesome. It's going to be down in the description box. It says website underneath like the follow. And today we are going to be talking about the problem with commentary channels. Um, I have so many opinions and thoughts about commentary channels that like I made notes because you guys know I tend to just ramble on and especially editing Alex hates that because I have to sit and listen to myself for a while and it's just annoying. So we're going to talk about this new phenomenon, phenomenon? I don't know, whatever, about commentary channels. And I guess this falls into the kind of category of reaction, but not all, well, I mean, I guess all of them kind of do react because they comment on things and they give their opinions about things. A lot of them are coming up and are on the rise. And I feel like if I were to pick a niche, I would probably pick commentary. Now I'm just rambling, gotta get back on topic. Before I lay out how the video is gonna go, I just wanna say I am just a little ant, little speck on the internet. It doesn't really matter what I think, I believe, whatever. I'm just sharing my thoughts because I wanna hear your opinions on some of the people I'm gonna talk about. I like talking about these people because it's interesting. Um, to hear your points of view and so you can hear my point of view because I'm not as harsh as some of these people like some of these people be like really hating but um, don't take what I say or whatever I might have an opinion on it that seriously it doesn't really matter um, I'm just sharing what I want to share and I want to talk about and have a conversation about if you don't like someone that's fine. I don't really care um, because I'm going to preface this. I like all of these people to an extent because I watch their content. So I don't hate actually anyone that I'm going to be discussing in this video. I just want to bring up some points. So how this video is going to work, I'm going to talk about generics and then I'm going to deep dive into specific creators so you can hear my opinion and my thoughts. And I might not list some of the big ones, like, I don't know, there's like Onision, like big reporters online. I'm talking about the smaller ones. I'm gonna start off with general statements and general opinions. I can really see how these channels could tear down someone's mental health, but it comes with the territory and sacrifices you make when you put your life on the internet. So um, I kind of want to touch on Brianna Kay's video because she recently put out this video where she expresses herself. Um, you can tell that she's like very distressed and I honestly feel for her. I think she should definitely take a break. And um, some of the like whiny stuff though, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, come on, compose yourself and then come back. I don't know. To me, I'm I'm generally a tough person when it comes to certain things. Other things I am a big wimp on, but I mean, if you can edit and everything, like you should, I don't know. Maybe that was her trying to be real and raw, but I can honestly see how someone making a video on you could be like very detrimental. And honestly, if I had that happen to me, which it might, I don't know. Um, I'm definitely, this is probably the only video I'm gonna make on these people, um, unless they do something like super crazy because I like to do all sorts of content. Like I don't like to just stick to one thing. But if anyone made a video about me, I would definitely not wanna watch that. Like I do not think it would be good for anyone's mental health. I think I would assign it to a one of my friends, I joke around with her all the time saying that she's like my manager. She um, would probably be the one to watch it and then like kind of tell me because I wouldn't want to like 
no really i don't know it's kind of like my medical history like i don't want to know i'll just like see what happens in my future and go to the doctor it's i mean it's not normal to have someone talk about you like that on the internet you know you have friends that talk behind your back but it's just different you know i've already mentioned this um i watch these channels a lot because i find them to be entertaining again you got to take it with a grain of salt all of this and what they do i think is really big on entertainment for me you know you just kind of like don't take the internet so seriously um another comment i wanted to make i don't follow a lot of the families that these youtubers cover um especially like the youtube moms i don't really follow them but i enjoy the drama and news i enjoy hearing about tara henderson and aaron williams whatever you know they got going on i don't watch them i don't have anything that i relate to them on if i don't have anything to relate to you on i typically don't watch you um i'm just saying that in general speaking not you but like the channels um but i do like to hear people's perspectives and opinions just because it's interesting it's it's fun to to hear about you know i don't find them at all to be like that entertaining so i just like to hear about it it's kind of like my et or like entertainment well, that is entertainment tonight. And the last like general statement I want to make about these channels, these people's videos are so freaking long. So you have to like have a good amount of time. Like I typically listen and play their videos either when I'm driving to work or driving from work or I have them on in the background. Like when I'm at work, uh, when I'm doing my work, it's kind of like they're my music. Um, I just have them on in the background and then they'll say something like really ridiculous or funny or just something um, and I just I chuckle because it is funny but you have to have a lot of time and some of these people don't edit so they like seriously like just stick their phone in front of them talk to it and it's almost like they just cut out the beginning of them pressing play and then when they're done talking like there's no edits like it's just one run on video, which I don't, sometimes I don't mind, but like sometimes I kind of do mind. Like I got places to be people. Like, can we like hurry up the video? I mean, I know I can watch it in two times speed, but like still, please. But I don't like people who edit so much, like so many cuts that it feels like I'm gonna have a seizure like after I'm watching it because there's this one channel after every word it was like, a cut and I'm like oh my gosh like I'm feeling like it's giving me anxiety or something okay so the first person I'm gonna be talking about is obviously the dad challenge podcast and I have made a video about him in the past and I pretty much stick by that video um there's things I'm gonna touch on here but if I'm being honest I I like his content and you can hate me for that again he's just a guy on the internet and like I'm just someone on the internet like it's not that deep and I get that you might think that like oh the message the message like okay can we just like just watch the content like I don't know people are just so pressed about everything a lot of people have been saying his mission is being lost I can see where people are coming from um, just because he has done a lot of snark videos because of snark miss and everything like that I think that's where um, people think that it's just way too much but in his recent videos if you've watched them um, I think he's done a really good job so that it is kind of balancing out in the end um, he's not doing as much snark I don't know but I find the snark videos to be extremely funny um, and okay I'm just getting ahead of myself I need to like calm down so I said but that's what keeps the audience entertained. And honestly, look at all of these other channels and how their growth is compared to his. He has a gimmick and that's what you kind of need on the internet, which I still haven't found mine, so it's fine. Um, I could do adoption videos and probably, you know, build my audience as big as his or even bigger, but like, that's just not what I want to focus on. And you don't have to, you should never feel compelled unless you're like really strung out and like really only doing this for the money you should do it because you love it and because it's something that you want to do that's what brings people that's what keeps people entertained is his snark so that's why his channel has like separated from a lot of these other people 
that I'm gonna mention. Um, and I'm just being completely honest and that's my opinion. Everything is tweaked to not really be reality. Yes, you can be real and raw and like, what I'm saying is like, I think he's real, but like, you don't know that for sure. So you should always have like in the back of your mind that like, there's some false reality there. Cause like, no one's gonna put on the internet a part of them. It's just, you're not gonna see it from anybody. So I don't know. I think you have to just keep that in mind when you watch everyone on this platform. I'm gonna bring up, he says vlogging is easy and I'm going to agree with him. It is extremely easy. It is not hard. It is very time consuming, like sitting here doing this and then having to listen to myself. It's time consuming, but I would not say it is hard work. This isn't trigonometry. You're not doing anything with the unit circle or you're not balancing an equation in chemistry. Like that stuff's hard and I've done that stuff. So I know what hard is. This isn't hard. Um, so I do agree with him. So this is the biggest point I wanted to point out in this video. And this has nothing to do with that challenge podcast. It just happens to be in the notes. Um, with every job, you're going to have negatives. And actually, I think this does have to do with him. So every job, you're gonna have the negative aspects. You know, if you're a graphic designer and someone doesn't like your design, so what? If you, you know, misdiagnose someone, then you can get your ass sued. Like, there's just things in life that you're always gonna have a negative. And I think YouTubers and people with online presence says is that correct <laughs> anyone with an online presence thinks that you know oh this job won't come with any negatives and they know that the gossip sites are there but this with commentary and like with the dcp and like all these other people it is also a negative to the job you're going to have people talking about you. Honestly, it's good press. I mean, have you ever heard of that saying, all press is good press? Well, I think that's true because with all these people talking about, you know, Tara Henderson or Aaron Williams or Brianna Kay or what else does he do, Jess fam? With all of this, even though it's like negative, pretty much, they're still getting publicity. I think it's a good thing. I kind of twist things around. Um, but with every job you're going to have a negative and I do think these people some of them do need to be knocked down a peg because they're getting paid thousands of dollars to do a job that is not that difficult if you are this lucky I am this lucky okay like I get views sometimes and sometimes not but like I am that lucky to get a monthly check from YouTube okay so Anyone of you that gets a check from YouTube, no matter if it's $100 or $5 million, you are extremely lucky to have this privilege to make pretty much easy cash. You need to be like humbled, you know? And I feel like these channels are calling people out for things that they should be called out, but no one has the guts to do it. Like I don't have the guts to do it. All right, let's just be real. So that's another thing. It's part of the job deal with it or find another job. Like you don't have to put yourself on the internet, you know? Um, I do see where he contradicts himself a little bit with like, oh, I don't like comment on things that they can't help. But like, I mean, then he kind of does some instances which I can't really point out and I'm contradicting myself. But the thing is a lot of people, a lot of people, like I'm sure everyone contradicts themselves. So I could say one thing and then like do the opposite just like I'm doing now. So, I mean, yeah, I, I, I agree with that statement. I think he does contradict himself in some aspects. I do appreciate that he apologized to Brie um, because that was not okay. I can't believe like he let that slip on accident. At least he like owned up to it and everything. If I was Brianna, like I would, I would also be like probably as mad as her. The next person I'm gonna be talking about is um, Cece Suarez. I don't really watch her um, personally. I really, I think I watched one video of hers and I just don't really like her type of snark. And that's okay. Some people just rub you the wrong way. I mean, I just don't find it as entertaining as DCP or some other people. So I just don't really vibe with her videos as much. The next person I wanted to touch on really briefly is Tiffany Ferg, I think her name is. Oh my gosh, I wanna like her so bad, okay? I wanna like her content. Um, I think her organization and her videos is very well executed. 
I love the way her, um, the content is laid out and her points. But goodness gracious, I cannot stand the way she talks. And you know, you're probably sitting there thinking, I can't stand the way Alex talks. That's totally fine. There's been many times where, not many, but like sometimes people just like make fun of the way I talk and that's fine. I'm doing that with her. Like, I just don't like, I just, I can't get through a video of hers. It's just everything. She's very smart. Um, she's presents herself well, but I just don't like it, people. Like, I'm sorry. I said I watched some videos. I really wanted to um, hear what she had to say. So I did watch some of her videos and I do watch some of her videos if I want to know or hear what she has to say. And I just try to like tone out like her voice and just like take the message. But I just really don't, I just don't like listening to her talk. The next person I want to talk about is Sloan and I really like Sloan. Um, his channel has amassed so many subscribers and I love how in the beginning of this video, I say like, oh, I don't really watch a lot of people with a lot of subscribers. He has like so many, but I started watching him when he had like 20,000. So like, that's kind of how I still see him. I think he's passionate about bringing the news to YouTube, whether it be like celebrities or YouTubers. I like the way he shares the news, if that makes sense. Um, I like that he talks about stuff. I like that he has clips in his videos, but I will say, I wish he did a little bit, and I wish all these people did a little bit more research when talking about the people. So I said, I wish these people would do more research, especially talking about YouTubers, like how to pronounce their name. I watch some, but he does a lot of celebrity content I personally don't care for it. Yeah, like honestly, like I don't really, not that I don't care about Britney and like her freedom. Like I think it's great. I think the girl should be free. She's talented. I like her, but like, I don't need to follow her story. Like she's already, I mean, it's just, again, when he does like celebrity things, just not meant for me and don't really watch that content. I just don't really like it. Uh, I really want to touch on really quick Natalia Taylor because she is kind of commentary now. I don't know if she like officially is commentary, but ooh, she should stick to like her old stuff. I really don't like her commentary. I feel like they're so scripted and she says like such obvious things. Like, um, of course, like every time I just am like watching her video, I'm like over here going, well, duh, like, <laughs> come on, make some like, share some news or present it in like with higher vocabulary or something like I don't know if I wanted to watch a documentary like I would go to like BBC or Vice or I don't know not Natalia Taylor like I don't know what she's doing here and <laughs> like it's just my opinion like there's a lot of people that like that stuff and I do watch the videos um but sometimes I just have to skip because I I just I don't know. The next YouTuber I wanted to touch on is YouTuber Headlines. Oh my gosh. So I made a note saying, I really enjoy her content. Her voice is very nice to listen to. Um, needs, <laughs> I said, needs new graphics. Like, OMG, they are so bad. Oh my gosh, her graphics are horrible. Like girl, hit a girl up if you need some help. Like I, I do graphics like, professionally. I don't know what's going on, but she could really enhance her channel with like better graphic design, I think. Another thing I little made a note of, um, I wish she'd show her face or just be a podcast like with her stuff on different platforms. Like I wish I could play a YouTuber headlines video or her audio on like Apple podcasts or like Spotify or like something like that because I don't know I feel like if she's not gonna show her face she could just like do a podcast I I mean she could still put her stuff on YouTube but like I don't know anyway um I like how she just presents the news and then adds her opinion I really really like that about her she really is like I feel like her channel is starting to become more successful which is good because you can the content within itself is like really nicely presented. And I do like that. And I like, she does watch the people she covers, I believe. I don't know for a fact, but she seems really educated in like the people that she talks about. So like, it makes me, you know, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> anyway, I just like how she seems 
very well educated on the subject matter she's talking about. She really does make her channel like a big comment section and I enjoy that. Yeah, I do enjoy that. I feel like it's just a, you know, even playing field of sharing opinions and I really like that. The next person I wanna talk about and touch on a little bit, this video is already getting so long, I'm so sorry, um, is APOC. So my opinions on APOC, I don't know about that guy, man. Like I, I'm just gonna read what I had to say about him. Again, I do watch some of his videos cause like I'm interested in what he has to say. Um, and I, again, I don't hate him, but he's probably like my least favorite of all like the people I kind of touched on. His voice is not pleasant at all. I'm not the hugest fan of watching video games while he talks. He brings up some good points like to think about, but um, sometimes he just says the same thing. I feel like I'm like, okay, he definitely needs better audio. In general, I just don't feel like he's the most likable person to present things. I think that's why his audience has a harder time growing. Um, this is like a side note too. He put out so many videos on the OK Baby situation. Like, I don't think you need that many unless like, well, clearly he wants to monetize it just like I did. So, I mean, I don't know, but I just personally don't think you need that many videos on that situation. I just think all of these people are kind of hypocritical. Um, they use other people's names to gain views which I get, it's part of the game of YouTube. I do it too. Um, I think his wife would have more success if she started like talking in her videos. And I really do believe that. I think she has good points and she has just like more pleasant voice to listen to. Whenever he is on camera, like sometimes he shows his face and then sometimes he has this like mask on and I'm just like, okay, what are you doing? Like maybe that's part of your gimmick and that's fine. But like, no, I don't really like it. Um, there's this also this other channel. She's like another stay at home mom or another housewife, some something along those lines. <laughs> And I feel like in her videos, like all she does, well, I don't watch her other videos, but I watched some, a couple on the Dad Challenge podcast. And I feel like all throughout the video, she was just like screaming. And I was just like, okay, girl, like calm down, like take a chill pill, it's okay. Like, I don't know. Very interesting. Um, the next and last person I wanted to talk about is Radiant Brit. Um, she's okay. Her videos are kind of long. And when I was giving the example of someone just like setting up their phone in their car or in their room and just like literally talking without like any edits, like I feel like that's her. And I'm just like, okay, if I have like nothing else to watch, like I'll put her, one of hers on, you know, if I'm like doing laundry or something, but like, it's just so long, you know, like, Please edit, like have some cuts in there. Um, I just not a big fan of just like one run on clip. I think that's pretty much it about her. Like, I don't know. I don't watch her content like too, too much. I mean, she's okay, but that's like my biggest critique. Like, oh my gosh. So anyway, I know this video was like super long and I'm gonna try to cut it down because again, I don't like super long videos. I think the longest video I really like is about 30 minutes, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave in the comments down below your opinions on these people. Like, I wanna know. Like, I know a lot of you guys watch this content because my analytics tell me, and that's why I wanna know. So anyway, <laughs> I've rambled long enough. I will see you guys in my next video. Please make sure to watch my next video. I worked really hard on it. Okay, bye.